Hello there and welcome to Heart Explained Therapy where I've come up with a brand new idea that is probably already out there because most stuff is but I like to use my mind to think of new possibilities, possibilities and theories because we have a very good creative imaginative mind and I've recently watched a video and which made me watch another video and watch, made me watch another video and these were videos on simulation, theory, uh, spiritual gurus um, sort of alternative realities that we could exist in and they all say something that's exactly the same the same theory is a the conclusion for every one of these and that is that consciousness definitely exists and is what we view and perceive the world through and very importantly not only is it eternal but it's unlimited now I didn't like that word I didn't like that theory so my theory is that consciousness is all that we know that we perceive. It's all that we know at the moment and we will discover something beyond consciousness at some point. And I don't think it is unlimited because of this reason. But then I thought, how could I actually prove that? How could you prove that consciousness was not unlimited? Well, what can consciousness not do? I mean, consciousness is everything. It created limits. So I can understand the perspective of it's going to be unlimited. But in the paradox of the world, where every opposite isn't entirely true, and there's a middle ground of life and balance, then it looks like consciousness cannot stop. What I mean is, it cannot die. Now this made me think of my thoughts recently, that were just an evolutionary process, and it's not really about love, and it's not really about the humanity, the human civilization living forever. It's more to do with the universe, or the cosmos, or the consciousness realm, or the thing that created the consciousness, who knows? But is consciousness trying to kill itself? Now just think of this. What does it seem to do through all spirituality, through all of these theories? You have human beings, very clever, very intellectual, not going anywhere near any uncomfortable feeling and coming out with a beautiful story that says we have purpose. But in the reality, take away these very minute intellectuals that see the world in this way and have these little beautiful fields where they live naturally and do the right things and have the right morals and values and are walking gods literally for spreading such a good message. But take away that 1%, which it is just 1%. I can't say it is any more than 1%. Some of the greatest videos I watch have two to 400 views. This is how much this information isn't out there. So if you look at the true reality of what we see, it is chaotic madness, unconscious behavior that is leading to the implosion of the world, the world as we know it, the cosmos, the consciousness, whatever exists is going to die because of us, because of the evolution of us. There's no getting away from that. And I can go into all of the reasons why we're destroying the planet. Landfill, the fuel that we use, the recycling issues, the toxic behavior emotionally, the mental health, the rates at which we're killing each other and killing ourselves, the wars, the carnage, the racism, the sexuality problems, all this just exploding into an egoic mind. And spirituality says this is 
karma, this is na nature, this is natural. And we're going to uh, go from utopia to utopia. That's, that's a trans transcendental sort of uh, direction that's taking place. And it's just, we're in the bad part of it. And I have to say, with this other theory, 99% of the will going completely mad. A, a rich organisation that can spread fear and scaremonger the whole of the sheep, as we say, not to be woken up in this matrix, is what's taking place. And we're in denial if we think that this is going to change. We're not doing anything to try and get psychology and spirituality and love into schools or educations on any, uh, even civilised Western countries, which are supposed to be atop of the tree. They're the most ignorant, educated systems ever. If anything, there's more knife crimes and uh, crimes where a teacher can't raise a voice at a child now without getting arrested. There's just craziness taking place now this chaotic state has to, has to be for a reason as in not like a purposeful reason from us the human civilization through our mind but the nature of consciousness has to be trying to achieve something because that's what processes do processes are systems and patterns set up to express a form and even that is a insight from the mind that can never be intellectual to understand this but i think it's a great spin on the whole theory of the universe that consciousness might want to do the only thing that it can't do which is stop end die it doesn't want to look at itself doesn't want to look in itself in the mirror just like 99% uh, of the world can't look at themselves because of their unhappiness, their anger, their low self-esteem, their horrible belief systems, their traits, their toxic behaviour, their bad habits, their emotional outbursts, their internal dialogue when you have an emotional outburst. Could consciousness see this and decide that although it can make some beautiful still moments of artwork and poetry and music and beautiful nature and animals you know life and existence and the most perfect biological organic food chain that you'll ever see could it be wanting to Oh, it's a frightening thought process for a human to take on board. It's not nice, is it? But it's just a spin on a story. And you see that anybody can be insightful. Anybody can perceive reality. Now, for me, this explains something that a lot of cultures and belief systems and very intellectual people have got wrong, that consciousness is unlimited. And eternal. Now it, it might perceive to be that. It's life, it's um, if you could put it down to a sort of organic life, as if consciousness was this great big cosmos mind, could have a point of a birth, a point of death, and a lifespan, because it seems to, to do what our life does which is tragically painful, uh, beautifully innocent, experience of pain and suffering, learning and growth from that suffering, or completely ignorant and unconscious to that pain and suffering, as an ego defense to it, and death. And this could be consciousness, and consciousness lifespan is 14 billion years, 20 billion years, 70 billion years, involving 70 ultra universes, galaxies and parallel universes and all that shebang.
but consciousness mind, rather than try and be viewing itself and expressing itself through us, it might just be trying to pull the plug, because it realised very early on that the mathematics and the science and the beautiful tapestry that we we tend to see in an ugly form and an ugly light, a negative way that we all see the world rather than project this beautifulness and happiness. It just said, it's not working out. We made up the plans, we gave it the best shot, but it got to, I mean, not even 2020. I would say that a man had been, I mean, men have only just started to liberate women. And the last 50 years, truly, and there's still lots of work to do, never mind racism, never mind sexuality and all these other problems we've got. And just a theory, just an idea. It's a scary one, but live with it, have a look at it. And is that the reason why it's limited? It can't be unlimited if it can't do something. And that looks like the thing that it can't do. And it looks like the thing that it's trying to do. And again, projection from the human heart that can also feel the love and the beauty in that process. It's just amazing to be alive and to have this brain to think, a theory, to watch a video and to question these intellectual people and think of new ideas. Personally, it's what I enjoy doing. And I'm living my life doing just that because it's great to have a mind that perceives consciousness as it perceives it and to be in that dream, actually believing you perceive it when you're actually part of it and it's more perceiving you, if anything else.